What does it mean to pray for our leaders? Hi, my name is Matt, and today I'm going to lead us in a prayer for our leaders. It's crucial that we renew our mind to the reality that we are called to a higher standard. We need to let the authority of Scripture reign and have the final say in our lifestyles and decisions. It's kind of like when we accept Christ, we have no problem making him Savior, but calling him Lord can be a challenge to our flesh. When we sink down into a worldly mindset and perception, you're going to be let down every time. One of the greatest reminders to us is found uh, in Ephesians 6, 12, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. 1 Timothy 2, 1 through 4 says, I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, and intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings, and all those in authority, that may we, we may live peaceful and quiet in all godliness and holiness. This is good and pleases God our Savior. Verse 4, who wants all people to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. Today, I believe God is calling us to come up to a higher level across the board. We should live our lives with an elevated realization that we are in this world, but not of this world. We are strangers and we are just passing through and that we need to be heavenly minded, not just earthly minded. And I know we don't live in a perfect country or a perfect world and we have human leaders who you'll disagree with and who will let you down. But the next time you wanna raise your fist in judgment, instead take that time to pray for that leader that God would open their eyes and change their hearts. I came across this prayer the other day from Billy Graham and I thought it was so topical uh, for this moment. I wanna read this together. So let's go ahead and pray and I'm gonna read this uh, over us. Our Father and our God, we praise you for your goodness to our nation, giving us blessings far beyond what we deserve. Yet we know all is not right with our country. We deeply need a moral and spiritual renewal to help us meet the many problems we face. Convict us of sin, help us to turn to you in repentance and faith, set our feet on the path of righteousness and peace. We pray today for our leaders. Give them the wisdom to know what's right and the courage to do it. You have said, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. May this be a new era for our country as we humble ourselves and acknowledge you alone as our Savior and Lord. This we pray in your holy name. Amen.